right, people, this is it. World Beyond Season 1, Episode 10. This is In This Life. That is the title of this episode, and for some reason, I kept forgetting it. So, I am Adam Vale. And uh, I am Richard Bailey. And we are from The Coalition. That's with a K, thecoalition.com. If you've been following this, this is the TWD Universe podcast. We cover everything Walking Dead, and this is it. This is it. We have finally made it. Let's just get into it. All right. So we got Hope on the road with Huck. She pulls out the gun. She's about to just let loose. Don't know why she waited to take her out on the road to do this. I mentioned this in the last episode. Just could have did this in the house. If you've already uncovered all this, you have the questions. You don't trust Huck. Just do it now. But whatever. This is the, They did this for a reason, and it, we'll get into it. She points the gun. What did you do? Why would you do it? Do we trust you? Blah, blah, blah. We already know Huck is up to no good. And she then confesses. I mean, after one shot goes off, because Hope was like, I'm not playing around. She does the shot. That's when Huck spills the beans. Yes, I'm CRM. I'm here for you. You're the asset. You know this. You're super smart. Your your dad needs you. Blah, blah, blah. Did you, were you surprised by any of this? Oh, no. Um, I know... Uh, when they had, when we saw that final message that she decoded at the last of the, ep- the last episode, talking about uh, the others were uh, indispensable, uh, pretty much the day the day you know it was all about the asset and didn't really matter about the others. Whatever happens to the others is going to happen to the others. I figured okay, because she already knew all of this stuff before she pulled the gun. Um, but again, as far as with Huck uh, turning, it, it, it wasn't a surprise. I mean, we we knew this from the mm-hmm. episode before the last episode where we saw her at the end talking to Elizabeth. Um, still don't really have too much context as to why she did it. She, Her mission, though, was to make sure that she got uh, Hope to the facility and to make sure that she didn't want to get any of the others uh, in any danger. She just wanted uh, just, just, just Hope, not any of the others. It just, so. it, that's the thing... Yeah, I just don't understand that. It's that again. It goes back to the writing. There's no reason for that. If you want to get her, you could easily just because uh, Iris also wanted to see her dad. What's yeah. the harm in having them both go? That's it. That would run from the first episode, and some could argue, well, there'd be no story. Exactly. This story wasn't needed. They needed to write a better story and a, another reason for this journey, because this this was not a good reveal. And if anybody who was watching this saw that one part and were really not sure what was going on, I'm sure they were probably pissed. Because they're like, really, this is it? That you could have just cut to the chase. Because even then, she brings it up. Hope was like, well, why did we even do all of this? And I was like, well, I wanted you to see the world. I, I wanted you to, to experience it. You know, to so feel. So you knew what you had to do and to serve your purpose. Oh, come on now. That, that was that was bullshit. None of that yeah. stuff was needed. So so uh, so so she totally planned for them to then be ambushed by all those uh, empties and then have to fight off the empties to survive. Because mm-hmm. at that point, I thought that she was going to shoot her after because you know we've seen in Walking Dead multiple times oh, where yeah. somebody is killed, they kill the other person to get away. So I thought they were going to do that, but obviously uh, they didn't take that direction because. They still want to do something with these characters, so they just made it be like she had her at gunpoint. She sees the empties coming. Okay, let me stop everything and let me help take out these empties, and then continue talking to her afterwards. See, I'm, I'm going to call this uh, my own term. It doesn't have the TWD grit. That would have been that grit. Be like you know what? You're right. Uh, that when she did that shot and all those empties showed up, and then we got Hug trying to play her psychological mind games. Put the gun down. Everything you don't want it to happen. Like with your mom, and everything's gonna be fine. And we gotta work together. All the empty. Boom! Just shoot on the leg. Now you gotta worry. I don't. You're the meal ticket here. I'm out. And go running. And, 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 and the other point that I will add on to that is, if she had done that and she took out Huck, then all of a sudden, it, you know, it becomes a lot more of a darker, much more serious thing here with the CRM looking for, for them. Mm-hmm. Because it's ridiculous to think that you're just going to cooperate with the CRM because you don't want them to come after the rest of the family. But now, if you kill Elizabeth's daughter, yeah, 
then that that raises the stakes significantly. Mm-hmm. So that was why I was surprised that she didn't do that because See, it would set the tone for 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 things to be to end a lot more violently between Elizabeth and and, and everyone else. See, I don't even know. Does she even know? I don't think she told her that, that it's her mom that the Lieutenant Elizabeth is her mom. I don't think oh, we yeah, know. She, she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, she 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 knows because at the final scene where she was where she she was uh, where Elizabeth came. She had made a mention that uh, mothers are complicated. Uh, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, well, well there, there you go. Have a conversation at some point See, about that. There's another bad cut then because that wasn't put on the show on camera. Yeah. We didn't see that reveal. <laughs> she never said, "Hey, my mom is the boss." You know, so there goes that. That's what's going on. But we'll just jump real quick to what's happening with Percy because Percy and Elton, their situation gets a little more interesting, and they do a lot of off. Uh, camera activity because you see at one point per, uh, Elton and Percy and they reach like this nice looking compound I mean it looks pretty solid and we see that uh, uh, Silas is there and he's cooking a meal he's he's doing his own thing <laughs> he's, he's okay things have worked out for a man who had no supplies when he left but uh, either way Elton finds him <laughs> first he says you shouldn't have come here you shouldn't have come after as if like he's a man living alone in the woods at a cabin and he's like, well, we followed the smoke, and we figured it was you. And I was like, all right, that's that's convenient. So everybody is just walking down the same road, down the same path at the same time. I would really like to see a map at this location. Because we, oh, yeah. we see a lot of just, oh, wow, the circumstances. Everybody just bumping into each other. But he's there, and he says, hey, look, I got a friend. You didn't do it. That is Percy. And Percy's like, yeah, you didn't do it. So, because he questioned himself, if you guys were watching, he, he's been questioning himself. He thought he had a blackout moment, like with his dad, and that he really did kill them. You know, jealousy over the Iris uh, situation. But that's not it. He didn't do any of that. So at least we get that resolved. And he was like, "All right, well, you're here now. This is my home." And so that's to that part. But then we'll jump into just to see what's going on with uh, Felix and Iris. As a, as you know, that they, they were just abandoned, and then Iris tells Felix, "I had a lot of issues." With Huck, I don't trust her, and I still don't understand this. How, even at that point, the fact that they had Felix still in disbelief about Huck, like, "Oh, what do you mean? No, what? Because of what happened with Silas, you think you can't trust anybody?" I was like, "Um, you, she just left with hope. She left Iris. <laughs> the last time you guys all spoke, you were staying behind because of your leg, but the girls were going. Do you don't find it odd that she just took one?" Not, it, it, it didn't add up. And then even when, at that point, she's like, you know what? What about that room? She told us not to go in that room. And what's up there? He's like, what room? What are you talking about? <laughs> you know? And then so it's like, all right, well, well, let's go. The room wasn't locked. That's the other thing. I was like, I was expecting, all right, they're going to have to break this door down. Nope. It's just, yeah. a, it's just a turn the knob. It's like, all right, you turn it up. And what is it? it? It looks like it from a scene from a video game when you get into a stockpile of goodies. You know, it's got all the supplies, everything they needed to bandage your mother. Like, oh, we could have made a splint. You, we could have been on the way out. We got gas here. We got this. We got Snicker bars. They had everything in this damn room. I couldn't believe it. And the, that, yeah, yeah. Just, see, that's a, that's a very poor. That that shows just how poor uh, Huck's character is in trying to cover up stuff. Because yeah, she could have. It, it, it would have been great if the door was locked or you had something in there to prevent someone from. You know, following your tracks. So that shows that she was very sloppy, even though she tried to make it so that she can only get herself alone with hope. It was not a good. It was not a good plan because yeah. you have to do a better job of covering your tracks. Yeah, because if, if when everybody already saw this episode, when you saw in, in the beginning of episode nine when she's having a conversation, this is help with the mom. She was like, "Yeah, everything's going according to plan. I'm sending them on the road. We're doing this trap, blah blah blah." So then they, she had this house set up as this was going to be the spot that they were going to, to to stay at for a while for shelter. Then you would have known about that room. And you yep. would have avoided the room. And then if she would have said, what's in the room? There was a bunch of bodies in there. It smells horrible. Just that that's the previous, that's the family that lived here. Let's just keep going. No, she opened the door. She looked in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, come on now. That, that's, <laughs> that was a lot of BS. A lot of BS in there. You know, but a lot of other little things that just don't add up started happening. We see with Iris, I mean, with the uh, Elton and Silas and Percy, we see that the, the CRM show up to his location, and they're like, oh, they must have followed the smoke. I'm like, uh, probably. 
I guess that, that could explain it. Why not? There's nothing else really going on in this area. So if you see some smoke in the sky, I'm sure it's going to lure people of good or bad intentions. They're all going to come, right? It's like, hey, who's having a barbecue? I'm hungry. So you see them show up and they're like, oh, what are we going to do? Yeah. And so, and I'm just going to just rush right into it because this whole part, there was really no other point with this. Is that right at the end of that, their little segment of, for this episode, the last time we see these three, is that they're trying to get away. They, they haven't been detected. They're going through a fence. And this is where Silas gets all these flashback moments. It, it sort of remind me of Bruce Leroy from The Last Dragon. <laughs> Do you remember when Bruce Lee, when he keeps getting, when sure enough keeps dunking his head in the water, you are the last, and he's dunking and dunking, and, and you see all the flashbacks of him and his sensei, and he's over here catching an oh, yeah. arrow and all this stuff, and the sensei, you're not looking in yourself, you are the man, and I'm not, you know, being insensitive, that's exactly how we said it, <laughs> you know, so I'm just saying, react, man. he's like, you, you're inside, you look, because the whole time he's looking for the master, and it's because when finally when Shono lifts up his head, and he's like, who's the master, and he says, I am, well, that's it, Silas gets this flashback of everybody telling him, you helped me, you saved me, you looked out for me, you did this, and he's like, you know what, I'm the good guy, I save people, and he's like, I'm saving both of you, you guys go, I got this, um, this part wasn't needed either because the the CRM weren't chasing them. <laughs> yeah. uh, they didn't. Yes. They didn't even know they were if, to confirm if anyone was still there. They didn't have dogs. I didn't see any dogs. No, no. It you know, so it wasn't like you had some dogs that were like sniffing them out. Like, oh, they're gonna do the trail and do that whole thing. No, so it wasn't needed. But I guess this is to build up what happens with Silas going into season two. If there is a season two, who knows? Oh yeah, there probably will be. Uh, I mean, I, I will say this: I'm glad that they revealed that. Yes, that uh, he did not. He wasn't the one that attacked Percy, and you saw the character had a lot of relief. To know that he he's not a monster. He did not kill, uh, you know, he didn't kill uh, Percy's uncle or anything like that. So I think that had to be explained, which is good. But all of this other stuff with him now getting captured, knowingly giving himself up to the CRM is like, I didn't understand that. Because yeah. uh, they yeah. can still get information out of him if they need to. And that's what the whole thing is, you know, probably force some information out of him to find out where the others and all this other stuff. So we'll have to see what happens with that yeah. uh, when the show returns. Yeah, and, if and, it returns. And there's, there's no way they're going to believe that this kid was out there by himself. They're be like, yeah. where's your group? No group. I was here grilling uh, my shoe and you guys came over. No, they're not going to believe that shit. <laughs> they're going to be like, no, you're clearly with somebody else. Where's the pliers? We're going to start torturing this kid. Yeah. Yeah, th there's ways of getting it from me. That's why I was like, there's, there's no need for this. This this wasn't needed, and then they even had with the music playing, trying to get all emotional. I'm sorry, it wasn't a tearjerker moment. I was not connecting with this show in that way, and I haven't the entire season. It just isn't there, it just isn't there. You know, so at least that's it. Boom, push that aside. That's the last time. Wave goodbye. We don't see them until next season. You know. So anyway, let's get back to the the, the real meat and potatoes of this episode, and this is when. We see uh, Iris and Felix. Now that they got all the goodies, they get into, they find a vehicle on the road. It's a truck, but it's stick. She doesn't drive stick. She's never learned. That's probably the only part of this entire series that actually makes sense. Because, like, yeah, she's never left the community. So why would she need to know how to drive a truck? Because Felix can't drive because of his leg. It's, it's in the cast and the whole thing. Yeah. Because it's all in the splint. It's all bandaged up. So he can't drive. So he's going to teach you how to drive stick. Like, all right, that this makes sense. This makes sense. But uh, the part that doesn't make sense of all this is that we see that we, after with uh, Hope and Huck, after they clear all the walkers, Hope still just says, ah, fuck it, I'm just going to go along. Because like you said, Huck said, hey, if they don't, if you fight back, it doesn't matter. They're still going to come after you or they're going to come after your family and, and your friends and all that stuff. So just play nice and come along with me. You know, your dad is fine. He's he's living it up. Everything is cool. Those messages, that was all me BSing, you know, just trying to get you to, to come along. Which makes no damn sense because Iris was the one that discovered those messages. It yeah. wasn't Hope. So if you were trying to send those messages to Hope, why would you send it when it was Iris that knew about that? Hope didn't know about those communications. She didn't even know that was a thing. Remember? Episode one, Iris told Hope. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's that right there. Plot hole doesn't make sense. That that this doesn't add up. Your your reasoning does not add up of what you're trying to 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 to, to make here. So to tell her that whole thing, I was like, yeah, this is what we need, and it's getting late, so let's go and and lay low. We need to find shelter. So they find another beautiful house. Holy shit, this house, these houses, man, this whole set. I guess like Mansion Row. They were like, all right, we just got all these mansions. You want to use these? Yeah, yeah, we'll use these. Because these aren't little shacks. These are really nice houses, big windows, huge living rooms. I don't know. This is just me, a homeowner, just looking at these houses. What I, the issue I had also with this, and uh, this is what I just said about how everyone seems to find everyone else. All of a sudden, yeah. while they're there in the house, who shows up? Iris and, and Felix show up. <laughs> uh, what the? F- what is this? How is this happening? Is there, is there? Explain it. Can you explain this? The only explanation that I had is the one they had. They said, hey, there were lights in that house, so somebody must be there. Let's go there. That, that, that's exactly what happened. Um, you know, and then, then the other thing is no concerns about who's out there. Remember, they, they don't... It, it, this is still during the apocalypse. There could be madmen, there's walkers, there's all kinds of craziness. But nope, let's just pull up to the house, let's slam the doors of the trucks, let's look around, hmm, what's here? Oh, well, God. That, 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 that right there, that explanation should also apply to the previous episode when they found the other house and there was no 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 uh, empties in the house nothing uh because again if this is a walking dead show you have to assume anytime you go into any area it could be dangerous mm-hmm. yeah. So, yeah there's no concern that's what i'm saying it's like they forget that this is a zombie show and yeah. it, and he jumps into just like yeah this is just a regular tv show <laughs> this is just a regular show. This has nothing to do with walkers. We could just go into houses. Everybody just they went on vacation. You know, we we saw we saw what they posted on Facebook. They're out. <laughs> you know, what I mean, it's bullshit. It's such bullshit. So anyway, so they get into the house, they, and I guess the doors weren't locked. You know, some protector huckish can't even lock the damn door because the next scene we see is uh, Iris walking around with her weapon. You know, and the same, and they have a lantern, and the same thing with Felix. Right now, wait. Did Felix have the lantern, or he had a flashlight? Do you remember? Uh, I, I believe it. Well, that's a good question. I wasn't paying attention. Ah, to see me that. neither. But the only reason why, if, if you guys, you were, you already watched it. The reason why is because remember that's where the crazy scene starts with the fire or something. Somebody had a lantern, yep. so I guess let's just assume the lantern was in there. But I know that Iris and Felix they walked in with some light. They needed light because it looked kind of dark. Because at that point, that's when Iris, I mean, Huck tells Hope, "Hey." Remember what I said? We want to protect your family. We got to lay low. Don't get them involved. You know, that yep. whole thing. And Hulk and Hope is buying into this bullshit. So they, they eventually, they, they confront, but in a weird way. It's like Hulk comes out. And again, doesn't make sense. It's like, hey, guys. Oh, wow. You, your leg is better. Oh, I see you got a truck and stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh we're all good. I'm like, what the hell? It's like, this doesn't make sense. It's like, you just ran off with Hope. And then Hope comes up, yeah, yeah, everything is good. We are happy. And it's like, clearly you're not. Something's wrong here. You know? and, then, and then again, here's where Hope, Hope was like, hey, you know what? Uh, Felix, uh, give me the keys. Let me just move that truck, you know, that way in case somebody's looking. And he pulls a gun. He's like, I'm done with this bullshit. You know, we know what you're doing. Who are you? Why are you doing this? Where are you bringing Hope? This doesn't add up. None of this adds up. Something shady is going on here. And we know something is shady going on here. But then that's when she, she gets her stone face. This is Huck. And then poof, they start fighting. And here we go. This is an epic battle. Or at least they wanted yeah. to push it that way. You know, cue the stunt, man. Because there was a lot of head slamming on the walls. A lot of punches. <laughs> they bang over the lantern. There's a fire. The other two are, are trying to figure out where's the gun? Where's the gun? Uh, I don't know why they left the room. For the gun? Because if they were still in the same well, room and he she hit Felix, Huck hit Felix and knocked the gun down, wouldn't it still be on the floor in the room? But you see the two run out of the room. Well yeah, because it was a fire. They, yeah. they, no, they, no. Got, they got into they got into the heat of the battle. They got into the they, heat of the battle. Just, All it right. Just, it just it just escalated, so they just everything 
went went sideways. Everything <laughs> went sideways. All right, but before we go into because the, the, the everything else pretty much happens there, but real quick, we'll just jump to one little part because it was actually a little part sprinkled throughout the episode, and it's just Leo and his doctor love. Now that's a, <laughs> yeah, and the love doctor, and we've seen her in the post credits a few times. Where yep. she's running some experiments. She she has his uh, manuscript that was one part or his book about the the vaccine that he's been working on. So we've seen her, but now we really see you know they have a relationship. They're doing a lot of heavy kissing and all that stuff, making dinner and spending time together. We also see a weird like flashback or something. She zones out for a second, where it looks like she's trying to tell him, "Hey, we got your daughter, uh, 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 Hope, and she's on her way here to help." Yeah, and I don't, I don't get that. And I, and this was also a part where he's talking to her about his daughters because she was like, "Oh, tell me about your daughters and stuff." And then they do the little flashbacks, and then this is where we find out that at six years old, she's super smart. She built a computer, and she was always tinkering with all these things, and 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 everything just shows she was exceptional. Something else is going on in her head. But I, I, I just find it odd that they take his word for it. Because think about it, this is all happening because of this story about yeah. her building the computer. There's no testing done. There's no real proof. This isn't a Doogie Hauser situation where she was teaching classes at the, the campus colony. No, we saw what she was doing. She was up to shenanigans. She was doing all kinds of stuff. It was Iris that was really the bookworm of all that. But no, 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 no. Well, let's wipe all that. We're just going to go based off of what Leo was saying. And it sounds like his daughter was really, really smart. So let's just go and do this whole elaborate story to get her to come aboard, which makes no sense because she, like I said, they could have just said, hey, do you want to be with your dad? Do you want to help your dad out? You don't tell me she was going to say no. She wanted yes. to go. They missed her dad. She could have easily, even if, even if Iris didn't go, she could have said, hey, all right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go see him. Maybe they could say the bullshit. Ah, oh, we only have four seats in the chopper. <laughs> you know, sorry. You know, we got the, the two goons here. We got Elizabeth, and then there's you. There's all four. <laughs> right? That's it. Don't worry. Yeah. We'll come back for your, your sister. No harm, no foul. Right? That's it. Yeah. But whatever. So that, but that just shows you're just going based off of his... The, what the dad is saying about uh, Hope. So anyways, you see she zones out that whole scene about uh, her telling uh, Leo this. And he, he, cause he says, hey, you are you there? You okay? And she, oh, what? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, yes, uh, something I have to tell you. Uh, no, I don't have to tell you. She takes a zip of uh, some wine. And then he says, well, I have something to want to tell you. He doesn't trust the CRM, the military of that police, uh, of that, uh, that colony. He thinks something's up. He hasn't heard from Will. And I, I, we briefly went over it, but we forgot to mention in the post credits, we do see Will running for his life and CRM people chasing after him out in the woods. Yeah, right? in the previous episode. In the previous yeah. episode, right? Post credits, they had that. So in this one, he's saying, yeah, he didn't return back. Well, I don't know. Something's up. And then there was another doctor she had mentioned that said apparently had to leave for a sick sister or some relative that needed him. Yeah, really? Does that apply here in Apocalypse? This is what people are doing? Instead of working on cures, <laughs> oh, my, my sister's got a cold. I got to go check on her. Uh, well, can you guys hold off on creating this vaccine to solve uh, the world's problems? I'll be right back. He found that was suspicious. Of course, and he should. And so he's telling her all this, but She's giving like that stone face, and I have a feeling she knows. She knows all this shit. This is oh a, yeah, she knows. She knows all this. You know they don't have to say it, but she knows, and that's it. Now push them aside. They're done. So now the main focus for this episode it's just on the four here, which is Iris and Felix and Hope and uh, Huck. So back to the fight, big brawl, they're brawling it out, there's fire, there's a lot of banging around. I mean, it was fairly <laughs> lengthy, right? Come on, it, it was it was a brawl. Yeah. It really broke to the point that it spilled out, out of the house. I don't know how they got downstairs, because I would have liked to see somebody get kicked tumbling down the stairs. But they wound up getting down the stairs, and then they're outside the house. And they're fighting, and there's a whole big to do. And then eventually, Huck gets the upper hand, and she has that spear like weapon, and she's about to just stab him. And she says she's sorry for this. But then all of a sudden, we hear a gunshot. Huck looks over. At first, I was like, oh, this is it. Hope, yeah. Hope shot her. Finally stood up because she should have killed her before. She didn't. That regret, you know, you know, fool me once, fool me twice, you know, that whole thing. But no, she shot up in the air, which did you not learn from the last time you did that? Now you got a bunch of empties. Thanks. Thanks. Now you, you've ruined everything. But whatever. 
she then points the gun to her head and it's like that's it if you do anything if you kill him I'm gonna kill myself and that's yeah. it your mission is over put the weapon down and pretty much makes the deal that she'll go along with her she'll go see the dad all that stuff but uh, she has to let Felix and uh, and uh, which Iris go back to the university to the campus colony and that's a deal and that's what happens with them <laughs> they just like they get up everybody walks around it's like all right you know and then this is the quote that i had to write down because when when uh felix is like shocked by all this and then huck comes up and is like sometimes you have to do something bad to do something good and i was like yeah that's that applies to this entire series here this this show proves to how bad you can really screw up some because a lot of people said you can't go wrong with zombies People love zombies. Yeah. They're like, oh, everybody's going to watch it. It's always fun, whether it's campy or real horror. It's always fun to have zombies. Well, you can go bad with it, and we proved it when you turn it into a freeform show like this. You yeah, know, it, yeah, that's yeah. what this is. This is a teeny bumper. This should not have been part of the Walking Dead universe. And if it was, or uh, well, it is, it should have really been pushed off of AMC onto another network so it was more fitting to that audience because that's why you see the backlash that it's getting because of we've been what over 10 years over 10 years we've been watching the walking dead some of you even further back like myself and others that read the comics we know what to expect even fear fear sticks closely to the walking dead not so much but enough that it's still relevant in the grit that twd grit this doesn't have any of that grit and i know some people the very small majority of people they'll say well they were going in another direction and they wanted to be that no no no, no. this is a really bad direction this is yeah. not where they should have went with this. And I'm really hoping that that quote that Huck said does apply and that they listen. So that way next season, if it does come back for next season, it brings some of that TWD grit. And we see some of that, like, take no prisoners. Let's get into it. Let's make it for those gamers out there like us, the last of us. Make Hope and or Iris into Ellie. Do something like that. Well, Experience the pain. All right, keep going. Go well, well, I, I did. I did hear that uh, the writer of the show, uh, like some some people working on the show, they did say that the second season is going to be a lot more darker than this season. Uh, and if I had to make a guess as to what they mean when they say darker, yeah, I assume that uh, you know Hope, as well as Silas, because Silas is also in, in now in custody of the uh, the CRM. Maybe they have to do some extreme measures involving killing people. But one thing I, I do think is going to happen is that, you know, by the end of this episode, we know that uh, once they do meet up with Elizabeth, Huck, uh, you know, that's when Elizabeth finds out that her daughter wasn't being honest about how everything was actually going. And then now there's some defiance that I feel that Huck does have, that her mom doesn't trust her, that her mom thinks that she didn't complete the mission exactly as planned, so I, I would not be surprised if she turns on her mother next season for that reason. Mm. Well, yeah, because that's right, because right at the end of that scene, well, for this this part, when it comes to what's going on with Huck and, um, and Hope, the helicopter lands, we see Elizabeth and her goons come out, they're like, alright, we're ready, we're going back to the base, great job, oh, by the way, you sort of boxed it, you know, we, we I guess the, one of the helicopters saw the other two walking on the road. Because that's the other thing. They forget about just giving them the vehicle. They just sent them on their way to walk back to uh, Nebraska. Right? What was it? What was it? Uh, Omaha. Yeah, over in Omaha, Nebraska. I was like, you're going to walk all the way? And this guy's hobbling with, come on now. <laughs> that, that doesn't even make sense. But whatever. That's what happened here. And uh, she says, don't worry. We're going to dispose of them. We're going to take care of that. That again. That part doesn't even make sense, because why not use his leverage, take his other sister? Are you implying that Leo only gives a shit about Hope, and he wouldn't care what happened to to Iris? Well, yeah. That 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 doesn't even that's make what, sense. That, that that's what the doctor believes, because she's only heard about the encounters that Leo has had when he's ah saw yes, you're right. Does some things. You're yeah. right. You're right. So yeah, if this if all the information that Elizabeth is obtaining from Leo is coming secondhand from the doctor. And yeah, if if Leo is only praising hope, then yeah, you know what? That makes sense. That makes sense. There you go. But and, 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 and I will give them credit for explaining that because when they had the whole thing where Hope, where hope was saying goodbye to Iris, they went back to that moment again 
and she was she pretty much revealed yes it's okay for them to take me because they still won't win because they also need you oh yes but that's that's a good one that's a good one get ready we're gonna get to that that's a good one that is that to me that was uh again i I keep reverting back to certain old movies and scenes and that comes up to a a saw movie you know the same thing of like where adam was in the room there by himself and and next you know you see the the guy get up and jigsaw and he was in the room the whole time and that's one of these moments or even the ring where you find out that the crazy up that woman was in every uh, picture, always in the background, stalking the professor. Remember, yeah. it's like she was always there. The creepy girl was always. So it's the same thing because yes, real quick. I went to, uh, with Huck and Elizabeth. We'll just close this part out. She tells uh, Elizabeth, it's like, hey, listen, um, you you screwed that up, but we're gonna clear it up. We're taking those guys up. She's like, no, 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 no. Let them go. Let them go. They're going back to the campus colony. He's like, ah, oh, no, no. Remember, I told you there was some stuff that went down before. Yeah, a lot of bad stuff went down over there. It's not there. And it was like, what do you mean? No, no, don't worry. We'll talk about it later. You've been gone a while. So. She, at least that much we know, Huck was in the dark. She did not know that everybody was killed. Because maybe if she did, she would have known and said, you know what, maybe this isn't a good idea to bring these people over. Maybe my mom has some other intentions. But she didn't know. That much we do know. That's She did not know. But then this is it. This gets to your point right, right here, Rich. Uh, when now we, we could go back to, to Felix with his, 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 uh, his splint on and uh, he's with with iris and they're just wandering off in the woods and she's got a kool-aid smile on her face and i'm like damn this doesn't make sense what is up with this show and she's like oh we're gonna get we're gonna get them all we're gonna get serious like what are you talking about and then this is a dun 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 it shows the flashbacks yes we see the the parts of the computer are all laid out on the table leo walked in sees his his hope there and his daughter and it looks like she's working on it but when he leaves the room what happens You got little Iris comes in and she assembles the whole thing. She puts it together. So then the next time the dad walks in and he sees a computer put together, he sees Hope playing on it. He's like, oh, she did it. She put it together. You know, and then all these problem solvings that when she's doing puzzles and other things, he's watching her trying to figure it out. He leaves the room and then Iris walks in and solves it. You know what I mean? So she was like, she tells Felix, they're going to need us because we work together as a team. Not one of us can do all this stuff. We've worked together. And I was like, you know what? that sounds great. You may have a Kool-Aid smile, but uh, you missed the part where Felix, where where I, uh, Elizabeth just told her goons to just kill them. <laughs> so <laughs> they're not going to even be questioned. You know, even if you try to say, hey, I saw the, I put the computer together. That's it. They're going to get put down. You know, and that that's the problem. So if, I don't know if this is a plan that, that uh, Iris and and hope set up and that when hope gets over there she's going to explain all this i don't know how that's going to get explained but that for her she thinks that was a big reveal so before we jump to the last part do you, do you anything you want to say about that because that was one of the scenes you liked oh well definitely not a scene that i like but i will say that uh i understand what the writers were doing because ever since this show has started they kept telling you as a viewer The sisters have an important bond between each other. And they kept talking about how they always like to be around each other. They always are out looking for the other one. They're always concerned about the other one. But to know, because again, when when they revealed who was the asset, I I already had already thought it was going to be Iris. Yeah, yeah. Because she was the one that gave the speech in the first episode. You know, she's obviously intelligent. And they mentioned that she could be important in terms of what they do in the future for science and stuff like that. So when they revealed that it's actually both of them, I was like, oh, so this is once again the writers hitting the viewer over the head repeatedly to remind, let you know that as they, they work work well together as sisters, it is more important for them to be together. Because uh, even when Leo, when they had the scene of when Leo saw both of the girls, and they once again keep mentioning they're always together, they're, they're, they're great together, they understand each other. That to me was just them once again uh, you know, re- repeatedly letting me know, yes, these characters are together, they are connected. So, yeah, I, I mean, I wasn't really surprised by that particular uh, reveal. Uh, it just is, it, I mean, it's it's a pretty obvious, when you, if you think about everything that they showed up to this point about how important they are as a unit. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah. it, it's just gonna, but it's it also like, it, yeah, and it also shows how the CRM is just pretty gullible because the, the <laughs> fact that they see with their own eyes. Like you said, that Iris is the smart one. She's the overachiever and doing all this stuff. So Elizabeth, even when she was there giving the speech, saying, oh, I see a future scientist here and all things. But yet, you just take the word from the dad who is seeing his kid do all this stuff. Parents, I'm a parent. I may say all kinds of things about my kids. Oh, they're amazing and this and that. And then you look at the test scores and we're like, hmm, this don't add up. But you know what? <laughs> parents are always going to look at the positives for their kids. Right? You, yeah. They all do that. It's, that's just how it works as a parent. But that's why you would think it would be up to them to actually see the proof in the pudding. And they see it. It's with Iris. They knew this when they visit. Elizabeth knew this. But still, for some reason, I, why not? That's what I'm saying. Like, just take both of them. Just take yeah. both of them. They both get yeah. in the chopper. Let's go. You want to see your dad? Come on. Let's do this. I don't understand the whole need for the trip, the shenanigans, the story, the idea, the plan that Huck said. And none of that made sense. Poor writing. Did not like it. Anybody who was just tuning in and wanted to know the big reveal and that was the plot and that was the story of this. Oh, it was just all the plan of Huck because she said it. This was my plan. We could have gone the route of just putting you in a plane to go visit your dad, but I, I came up with this because I wanted to show you the world and what, what you would be doing <laughs> and what you'd be saving. So you're telling me that this girl wouldn't want to help come up with a cure for for uh, this this uh, virus that's spreading? She would go against this, so what, to, to, to do her moonshine business that she was doing back at the campus? Remember? I was, come on now. It was a yeah. lot of it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they, they definitely could have handled it a lot better, you know, and, and just like you said, you could have easily just said, if you know that she won't cooperate unless her sister is there, just to give her peace of mind, all they could have did is just had, just brought both of them to, to wherever the, the facility is and have them work on this stuff. You didn't have to have this whole process mm -hmm. where Elizabeth gives them a map and then they, they use that map to decide, okay, Let's let okay. Now we got the map. Now let's figure out how to get there. You know, it yeah, just, it's yeah, a lot yeah, of roundabout yeah. stuff. And, and, unnecessary. Yeah, and before people are like, well, well, do you think you have all the answers? How would you fit? I'll tell you how I would have done this. It would be simple. We would have started off the scene where they get into the chopper. You want to go visit your dad? You want to go help your dad? Let's go. They go over there. We got Iris and we got, um, Hope and they go over to visit the dad to go see him. While they're there, they see all the craziness that's going on. They see it's not a safe environment. These people are up to no good. They're eliminating other groups. There's all kinds of stuff. They're like, all right, dad, we have to get out. Now the scene has reversed. Now, yes, they're on a journey, but they're on a journey to get out. They escape, and now we see CRM and walkers and all this stuff going after the dad and the girls. And hell, if you want to throw in the kids, the boys, you could wrote that in too. Bring all of them. Make them seem like they're all relevant to the story of science maybe they're all part of the same science class you know that type of thing it's, it's like yeah we could all work together as a team we could figure this stuff out with the top of our class blah 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 and have the story be told from that perspective and now they're trying to work their way back we could have had where there was those distress calls that we saw in the first episode right those could be have been discovered by felix and it could have been Felix and Will, and now their journey to try to find up a meeting ground so they can go and help. So you got the other group that have yep. escaped, and then you have Felix and Will trying to rescue. We could have had that. Huck could have still been a, a major player because she could have been the main henchman for the moms. Like, all right, you know what? You're in charge of force. Go bring them back. That type of thing. Yep. Yeah. That, that could have definitely worked. That's it. We could have had that. We would have had all this craziness going on still in the woods. We could have had the, the action. We could have had some deaths. They could have even sprinkled in a few other people in there. Side characters that, that could have died. We didn't see any of that. No one died in this. And it, this is <laughs> Walking Dead. Someone always dies. Don't get attached to any character. That's what we've always been taught. Don't get attached because they can get killed off at any moment. No one died here. None of these characters died. And don't say, well, Tony died. No one gives this shit about Tony. Okay? Tony was in those two episodes and then he's gone. Not relevant. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. So then the last scene of this episode and of this season is that the two, again, very w relaxed and walking through the woods here. And what do they see off in the distance? There's a guy with a hood. And he approaches them real slowly, still with his head down. Ugh, oh, what BS. But then again, this sort of has that vibe from Fear the Walking Dead whenever Morgan shows up now. 
So he he walks up and he pulls the hood back. He looks up and ta-da, it's Will. The two embrace Felix and Will. They're hugging. They're so happy. The camera does this nice little twirl around. Look at them happy. They're singing. You know, pop the champagne. Let's party. But the then we see uh, Iris. She's like, oh, wow, Will. He's like, oh, what's, what's going on? He's like, oh, you know, they're, they're going to come for us. You know, for and we, we have to go. And. That's when he looks back, and you see this uh, silhouette. There's some other people part of this group that he's with. And then overhead, you hear a chopper fly by, which we have to assume is CRM. For some reason, in my mind, I assumed it was their chopper, and that we're going to see a rope come down. It's like, grab the rope. We're going. You know, but no, that, that didn't happen. Yeah. And uh, that's it. So, uh, so Rich, oh, go ahead. Jump in. Let, let, let me just say this. Uh, you know, well, it's good that that Will had his little reunion with Felix, but if I was obviously they keep telling us that this show is connected, obviously because the CRM, I would have used this as an opportunity to reveal that whoever is with this other group is someone important. I don't know, maybe Rick Grimes or maybe another Walking Dead character that we haven't seen in a while, mm-hmm. because that would have been far more exciting to make people want to watch the second season. But instead, it's the same people that have been on this show, a, a character named Will, who we only were introduced into in, in episode nine. So I don't know why I should care about that character. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that that definitely is I would have used that as an opportunity. I understand they want to say that they are connected to The Walking Dead, but they do not want to rely on the actors and actresses from that show to push the storyline forward. But I, I would have done I would have definitely did that for this purpose to get people excited for next season. Yeah, they could say that, but they know they need that. They proved yes. that with Fear the Walking Dead. They had to do it. When some of those cast members left, they had to do something, and they didn't just introduce new ones. They That's when we got uh, Dwight and Morgan. And when they showed up, and look at the roles they're playing on that series. They're not supporting <laughs> roles. These are main roles here. They saved that series when they had that mass exodus a few seasons back. So it's the same here. It's like, yeah, they need something else. They need to show a connection. Maybe they can build into that because the the last scene, the, the, in that same scene there, the last comment that Will makes over is he tells them, hey, we can't go back. Because they were like, oh, we're going to go back to the campus. And this no, no, no. You didn't hear? You don't know? Oh, oh. But we know. It's gone. So they're going to have to go somewhere else. But then again, we also know she wants to still, Iris wants to still save her dad. And, and they want to still do that whole thing. So the... Uh, where are you going to go? Well, are they going to say, you know, we're going to regroup? Where are we going? We're going to Virginia. You know, we're going to Georgia. We're going to wherever the group. We're going to California. Which group from Walking Dead Universe are they going to uh, connect with? There, there's got to be one or two members well, that we know of, right? Well, I, w- I would say if I was to connect this to the other uh, Walking Dead show, this is a great explanation as to where was Maggie at with all these other characters all this time she wasn't on the show. That could have been one group that they could have came into contact with. I don't know if that is the plan because we know Walking Dead is returning in February and I guess they're going to explain more about what happened with Maggie in that time period. But uh, that is definitely a group that they could have connected with. But I don't know what the plan is. Yeah, she said she found some people. We don't know how far she went out, so she says she found some people, and who knows? It uh, would have been okay. that that she did say, and it would have been cool if, let's say, we didn't see Will in this. We saw him run off, but then yeah, we put two and two together, and remember that super ninja that Maggie was with, and it's Will. Yep. That would have been yep. cool. It was like, oh, that's the connection. But you know what? That's that's fantasy booking. That did not happen. So uh, <laughs> we we will hope that they are listening to the community. The community is very vocal. And uh, they make these changes and spice this up. Stop with this very, very PG approach. Don't tell me because they're kids. These are teenagers. These are young adults. Even the actors themselves are actually adults. You know, yeah. it, people, they need to not forget this is still The Walking Dead. You don't want to isolate and just detach your, your community. And the community are looking for something gritty. Sorry, we don't want this this, this version that they're trying to spit out on us. I don't know if they were thinking that this would bring in a new audience, a younger audience, but it's backfiring. 
it's backfiring. So hopefully they fix it. That's it. That's my criticism. I gave what I think would be my fix for the story. So it's not like just me doing poo-pooing on it with no ideas. I have ideas. I've given those out. Hopefully they listen. Hopefully others have some ideas. And hopefully the writers see what's going on. It's like, you know what, let's change it. And if the rumors are true about the whole thing about the story only being written in, in what, two weeks? Because of some other backstage it's, uh, issues going on. Hopefully they have more time to produce the second season. And uh, that is it, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode of I Am Negan for The World Beyond uh, Season 1, Episode 10. And uh, what's the next one? I think, yeah, we'll be back when, what, February? Sometime in February when Walking Dead proper returns. And I think yeah. there's only like six episodes of that. That's going to be fun. I know a lot of people that... Uh, pretty much thought that was it for until next season but no this is still a continuation of season 10 for that one so that that's going to be fun and we'll be back for that so again enjoy uh your holiday i hope everybody had a great thanksgiving and we will see you then all right everybody peace